So, you want pizza, but the local Pizza Hut is closed and Little Caesars is shutting down. That's pretty crazy. Maybe you should just go for tacos. I hear Taco Bell's nice this time of year. Hey guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to create this cool, like, little wave-looking thing with cubes. And it's geometry nodes, wouldn't you know? So if you've seen my most recent video, you know that I've been um, looking into geometry nodes, and I'm very fascinated. So we're going to go ahead and show you how I made this today, which is pretty heckin' cool, if you ask me. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and open up the um, geometry node editor, and it's literally just these three nodes. This, uh, this is something I was working on earlier. This is literally just these three nodes. It's all... There's nothing nothing else to it, which is just insanely cool. So essentially, what I did was I took a cube, which is just, you know, a regular cube object. You know, you get one in the scene by default. And on the cube, I added a couple of nodes. So a couple of nodes that I added was this cube, um, this cube uh, node, this noise texture node, and the extrude mesh. So that's once again, shift A, search, cube, right there. Shift A, search, mesh, and then uh, extrude mesh shift a search noise texture and all these bad boys are right here together so we plug the cube into the mesh of the extrude mesh and the noise texture color into the offset uh scale you can i think you do the factor as well i don't think it really matters yeah you can do either one actually um i would actually recommend doing the factor i think it's more um i think it's more accurate to how the scale actually is supposed to be um yeah so you can the cool thing about this is it's very customizable. So if you want to go ahead and make the like waves bigger, um, you go ahead and turn the scale down. So the closer to zero it is, the like more calm it'll be. And then the more up you go, the higher the value that gets, it gets more and more crazy. So this would be like kind of cool for, I don't know, some sort of loading screen or some background or something. I don't know where it does like this, but it's too fast, obviously. Um, because the way that I animated this was, you see here on the W value, I changed this from, I believe the default is 3D. I changed it from 3D to 4D, so I can get this little W value, um, which is the which is a float value. So it, it's essentially just saying how much um, how much you want this to animate over time is what I'm using this as. So right now, you can see I have a, uh, I have a keyframe on, on frame zero, or frame one, sorry, and then on frame 500. So I'm using this W value as a way to animate the noise texture. So essentially, I put this on 50, which was too much, so I'm going to put it on 10. So I have my cursor over top of um, the W value on frame one, and hit the I button to create a keyframe. And then I went to frame 10, and then I have my cursor, uh, frame sorry, frame 500, and change this to 10, and then hit I um, on this, and it, it turned it yellow. So now you can see when we play this, it um it is much much slower so this reminds me of if anyone's played mirror's edge it reminds me of that a lot the little animations that they have in between loading screens um it kind of reminds me of that a bit it reminds me of a lot of other things but this is a very very cool stuff um and it's just really really straightforward i don't even know what to tell you it's really straightforward and it's really simple and it's really um um nice it's just nice it's just really really nice i'm gonna actually because we have a lot of ambient inclusion, I'm going to put this on 16 for the render. Uh, sorry, 200 for the render. Um, but yeah, that looks really, really good. I like it quite a bit. Now, the last thing that I uh, I did do was I changed these values. These default values are not this um, are not this cool. So on the cube um, on the cube uh, node, what it was it was one 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 two two two. It looks like this, which is pretty cool, but it could look obviously cooler. So what I did was I changed the amount of vertices um, to 50 all around. So 50 on all these sides, which made this look so cool. Just, I'm gonna put that out there. That looks wicked. Um, but then I went ahead and I changed the X value to 10, and then I changed the Y value to 10, and that's what we got. Um, so that's pretty, pretty wicked. Pretty nice stuff. And then, I mean, you could change this to zero so the sides don't look weird unless you want it all to be one big cube like that, um, which I did not need. So I just put the z value on zero um so this was flat on the sides so looks really really hacking cool um and it's so simple to do it's really so simple to do and the last thing that i did was if you notice um this animation is completely linear it doesn't slow down and start you know faster or, or slow down at the end the way that i did that was i went ahead and i changed this to the graph editor and i have you see the default noise value um i selected both of these keyframes which is this bad boy right here and this bad boy right here 
just by dragging a box over top of them like that. And if you don't have these in your scene, um, hit this little check, this little box up here, this little arrow cursor thing. This is going to only show you the node that you have selected. So um, if you saw the previous video, that that is that's something that I was uh, inquiring about. It was how to make this show up without having to select it. So just turn that little button off and you can see all of the keyframes without having to select the node itself. Um, so without having to select the noise node. Um, so go ahead and right click this and you can see you can change the interpolation mode. And it was on Bezier by default. And what that does is if you don't know, it makes it slow down and get faster in the middle. And then at the end, it slows down. And I don't like that. That's not what I want. I want it to be completely linear. So just right click this and change this from Bezier to linear. And you can see the line is now straight across, which means it's the same speed through the entire animation. So that's how you deal with that. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. This is a absolutely super simple one, but it's very, very, very cool. I like it quite a bit. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it as much as I do. Go out and make something cool, make some loading animations, make some abstract animations, make some cool, cool, cool stuff. More Geometry Node tutorials are going to be on the way. I promise you this is absolutely sick. I uh, will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.